Joni Phillips with 110 based in Minneapolis. And I have the pleasure today of introducing the site world to Rosalind Garcia. She is an IT manager at the new Century Plaza Hotel in Los Angeles. Rosalind has a fascinating background. She initially studied social work and human resources in college, but became interested in technology as a career while working at an Apple store. She segued this passion for technology to not only a career, but also her way of giving back to the community. She is a fabulous role model for girls interested in the tech space. So Rosalind, can you tell us more about your story with the Los Angeles School District? Yes, definitely. So while the pandemic happened, um, some of us were sent home and we had more free time at home. And I was just on the internet, you know, I wanted to do something. So I saw this post that said, anybody who is good with IT has a lot of patience. If you can please send me your information, we're looking for people to help students who need to connect to the internet, parents who don't know how to use hotspots or Chromebooks and how to get students onto the internet. And so that was light bulb on, let's go. I, I'm always the type that needs to be doing something and I love to give back. And I, the way I see it is I give what I wish my parents would have had at my time. So I went on and helped multiple students and their parents get on and be able to continue their schooling. And your parents are, uh, your first generation, your parents are from Guatemala originally. That is correct. So tell us more about how, what you did with the school districts and how you helped the students. Definitely. And so it was a friend of mine who actually freelances with LUSD a lot. And she partnered up um, a lot of, that was maybe about 20 of us, partnered us up with uh, parents who requested help, parents who didn't know how to get on the internet. Uh, a lot of the times it was just teachers would notice their students consecutively missing class and not being there. And so they would reach out to the parents and ask what's going on. And they would say, I just don't know how to use the technology. And so I would, it was a lot of remote. It was uh, over the phone, guiding them through, click on this, click on that. And this is where my heritage actually was even more important. I, I'm very fluent in Spanish a lot of the parents were Spanish speaking only. And so when the instructions were sent home, most of them were in English. So a lot of them couldn't really understand what the steps were. And I helped a lot of younger kids. So it was maybe a lot of five, six year olds who still weren't super techie, but enough to be able to get them by. Well, that's amazing that you were able to use your heritage, your, your, your parents' language and help such an underserved community. So how many families did you end up helping? About 30 of them. Isn't that amazing to help set those children up for success in education? It is definitely a, an amazing feeling. It, I love to give back to community because of that. There's nothing more gratifying than knowing, you know, you're helping the future. What the foundation that I might or not have somebody else help them that stepping stool that they could have. Can you imagine what would have happened to those children if, if you hadn't stepped in? Yeah, a lot of them would just, they were missing class. They, they would have gone the whole pandemic without going to school and, you know, and education And farther important. behind in their studies and farther behind in life. So um, I applaud you for, Thank for you. helping out, especially the underserved community. Um, and, and being able to use your heritage and use your language to, to help them out. 